Barak Atha Yahweh, Barak Atha Yahweh Shai, double honor to the apostles and the elders, salutations to you sincere brothers, teaching in truth and in sincerity. This lesson is going to be entitled, Never Take Your Eyes Off Your Opponent. Do you understand? Never take your eyes off your opponent, even when you bow. That's it. First scripture. First Thessalonians 5 and 6. Therefore, let us not sleep as do others, but let us watch and be sober. Word sober in the Greek is another form of watching and also being calm and collective within your spirit. And if you're watching, hey, that's a characteristic of the elect. Because in order to watch your opponent, you can't be asleep. Second scripture, 1 Peter 5 and 8. Be sober, be vigilant, meaning to watch and be active. Because your adversary, the devil, and his physical counterpart on earth is led by Esau. As a roaring lion walketh about seeking whom he may devour. Last scripture, Isaiah 62 and 6, I have set watchmen upon thy walls, O Jerusalem, which shall never hold their peace, day nor night. Ye that make mention of Yahweh, Bashem, Yahweh Shai, keep not silent. Through the spirit of Yahweh, Bashem, Yahweh Shai, we let you know Esau is attempting to shoot at the perfect, which is Israel. His plan is to attain the birthright back. We keep our eyes on the opponent via scripture, history, and current events. You gotta keep pushing the mark of the beast. We gotta keep pushing thermonuclear destruction. Yep. You know, we gotta keep our eyes on the Middle East. We gotta keep our eyes on Donald Trump. We gotta keep our eyes on Putin and Russia, all right? They shall not keep their mouth shut day nor night. Hope you're edified. Shalom.